Hi viewers, here we have a 110 volt tri-factor kilowatt hour meter, KVR meter and KVA hours. Uh, the 110 volt meter is connected to a 240 volt supply. This register is the active kilowatt hour. This is the KVARH hour register and the summation box get KVAH hours. This meter is rated at 3 times 110 volts, but um, the registers are calibrated to be 2 units for kilowatt hours at 11,000 volts, which is visible here. The type is FF34HM30. And this is the other side, uh, side of the meter, the sign theta meter, and that's the FF10 slash H. As the load on this meter is resistive and it's now increased to 9 amps, the kilowatt hour component is running very fast while the KVA component is running very slow. That's the KVARH register. Well, here we got the kilowatt hour register, which runs very fast. It's, it's a resistive load like a heater, is um, nearly unity power factor. That will explain. Meter cover has been removed. See the timing motor. This is the cam and log for the reset every 30 minutes for the maximum demand registers. The big needle is the highest demand over the last half hour period, or the highest one over every, any period, while the small one, the small needle, is the pusher, it resets every 30 minutes. This is the kilowatt hour register. Relay solenoid which controls the two rate operation. This is a three phase three wire meter or two element meter. The current coal are the copper windings above while the yellow unit underneath is the potential coal. And behind the register we got a similar setup duplicated with the potential coal above and the current coal underneath. The same is applied on the KVA register side. And this is part of the gearbox which calculates from kilowatt hours and KV hours, calculates the total KVA, KVA hours to drive the MDI registers. All made from little Meccano wheels or oh, Landis and gear quality as usual. Very nice differentials and nice gear wheels. The tri vector. Connections. In this case, I've driven the meter from the blue element, so yellow potential or 110 volts from the transformer. White wire in is 240 volts current in. Normally, it comes from a current transformer. Uh, potential blue that comes from 110 volt supply, and the blue wire is the outgoing wire for the current. So 240 volt current through these two terminals and 110 volts on the other two. Jumpers are made for activating the solenoids in the meter and the side reservoir which controls the MDIs. There's a little terminal block here. I will do a reset on the meter, pushing the button on the side. The needles fall down. And the cumulative registers will add on the MDI readings from the pointers onto the totalizing registers.
good electromechanical meters. This white wire goes to 240 to a 110 volt transformer which goes into the connector with the red and the yellow green wire which feed into the meter. White and the blue wire has been used for the current go also in the multi-core and they come out also in the terminal block. These meters are very well made. Thanks for watching. This is basically the con connections current in, current out, yellow potential and blue potential. For a more modern meter, which is normal uh, 10 by terminal block, 7 and 9 would be the connections for the blue current element, 5 and 8 would be the connections for the potential call between the yellow and the blue phase so it may help for people who want to try to connect the meter like this up safety always metal case meters it pays uh, to put an earth on it just, just went an earth wire to the bus bar behind my switchboard